guys, it's me Laura and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my beauty routine video. I have tried filming this before but it's never really worked and I'm using my camera so I don't know how this is going to really turn out because I have a viewfinder on my camera because I have a Nikon Culpix. I have a mirror right beside me here which you can't see because obviously because I have a viewfinder I cannot see what I'm doing with my makeup. So and yeah I do apologise for the light. I hope the lighting's going to work for this because yeah, I don't do beauty videos. Um, I'm not. I don't claim to be an uh, expert in beauty or makeup. So yeah, first things first. I'm gonna brush my hair and put it out of my eyes because I want to get makeup in my hair. Brush my hair and then just use a hairband and keep it out of my eyes. So I'm gonna show talk you through the products and how I do my makeup. Um, hopefully the light isn't too bad, but we will give it a go. And fingers crossed this will work. Um, so yeah. I first product I use when I'm doing my makeup, obviously I've been in the shower, I've washed my face, um, is I use these Primark Calm Pads, they're 50p and I they're you get 120 pads and they do the job. I've used more expensive ones from like some other retailers and they've not been that great. But yeah, they do the job. So make sure my hair is completely oh great great. I get my hair completely out of my face. There we go cotton pads and I ha I use the Boots Essentials Cucumber Cleansing Lotion. It's usually about pound one fifty. I think they're on offer at the minute so they're quite good. Oh dear. It's so weird doing my makeup on camera. So yeah I don't really use a lot of it. So I'm just going to quickly cleanse my skin. I have really bad skin at the minute guys. Um, I don't know if you can see it but I've got breakout spots down inside of my face. I also have a lot of acne scarring from when I was about in my early 20s. I had a really bad breakout of quite bad spots. They were big red angry painful lumps of hard like hard lumps that actually like were excruciatingly painful that I couldn't move my face and stuff. So yeah I also quite have a bit of a red nose as well but um, yeah. So here we go. Quick cleanse. Also, I probably don't do my makeup the way that a lot of some people might not agree with the way I do my makeup, um, and that's fine because everybody's different. Everybody has different skin types. You know what works for one person is not going to work for anybody else, and that's what I'm. I'm not trying to do is tell people how to do their makeup because I have no right doing that because I'm me, and I. It took me a long time to figure out how to do my makeup the way it sits my skin. So. Moving on again to my toner, it is the same, it's the Boots Essentials Cucumber Range. I love the Cucumber Range because it makes my skin feel fresh and clean and I like it. I can see the reflection of the window on my view in my actual like lens, which is quite funny. And so yeah, quick toner. And yeah, once I use it my skin feels amazing, it's so, so fresh. I do know it's important to get your T-zone, which is this bit of your skin your face even, so on my chin, because I get a lot of spots around my chin. There we go. So that's another one. Moisturiser is different, I don't use a cotton pad for my moisturiser. I think it blends in better, it goes on better when I use my hand. It is the moisturising lotion from Boots. Tip, make sure you wash your hands before you do your makeup as well. I also have had a sore hand for the past like couple of days, so that today's the first time I've actually got good movement in my hand and I haven't had a bandage on it so but then I have been off this morning and I've literally lay in bed watching YouTube so I haven't really had a, a busy morning so do my moisturiser if you've got oily skin I would use very minimal moisturiser my skin can be a bit combination so I have to, I don't use a lot of moisturiser um, so it just depends. If you have dry skin, use it on the areas that are dry. More, so. but yeah, making sure that's all flipped right in. I'm just going to check to make sure this is still filming. Yeah, that bit will obviously be cut out. Cut out. So yeah, we're still going strong. So I have done my cleanser, toner, and moisturizer. There we go. Need to move these back so I have more room. So moving on now to primer, I had no idea what primer was when I first sort of heard of it and I used the Barry M Flawless Colour Correction Primer. This is for anti-redness, pore minimising, smoothing and mattifying and it's also vegan for those of you who 
like using vegan product products and I nearly finished this one but these last me a lifetime oh there we go I've used the last of it I only use about that much anyway so that's that one done I it's quite pricey I think it's about six pounds so I may have to purchase some more of this I do have another one but it's in my wash bag for going to London next week so yeah I just rub that on And that amount does my skin. I'm quite, I don't use a lot of anything. Um, so yeah, that is that rubbed in. Just leave it for, to set a little minute or two till I get my next product out of my drawer. Should be me now. So the next product I have is Natural Collection Conceal. It's one of the CC crayons and it's the green one. And again, I just, anywhere I have a bit of blemishes, I just sort of draw on and then I just rub it in and that's only like two pound from bits so it's quite good I used to use a lot of the natural collection products like my tinted moisturizer and everything used to be from there so only recently that I've upgraded it to something a bit more expensive for my skin so there we go my my face is prepared or sort of primed and ready to go for foundation. So the foundation I'm using at the minute is the Rimmel Last and Finish 25R Breathable Foundation and I got this from a beauty outlet for £5 and I use the colour Classic Ivory. This bit, I never used to use this when I used the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid but it's quite pricey for me and I'm a bit, when it comes to makeup, I'm a bit stingy. So basically all I'm doing is I'm actually painting it on my washing machine is just finished but it will do for a minute or two so I'm just going to paint it on also a top tip I have got my work top on my top for work because I go to, I start work later on and I always do get dressed before I do my makeup because you know I'm wearing a white t-shirt and I will get makeup on it so top tip is always make sure you wear you've got your clothes on before you do your makeup especially if you're going to wear white because there is nothing worse than putting a white white clothes on with makeup on and getting it covered especially coming from somebody who works in a clothes shop it's kind of annoying like I won't if I'm I won't try it on any tops or anything that has to cover my head when I'm in work because I don't want to get makeup on it but yeah so I painted that on I my makeup Sponges is just from Poundland and it does the job. Like I say, I don't spend a lot of money on makeup brushes or anything. But yeah, I'm gonna try. So I'm just blending that in. And I am probably doing this wrong, but you know, it does me. I'm happy with my makeup. And then if you need to add more, you can. I'm just going to give it a good rub in, making sure I get around my neck blending. I used to, when I was younger and started wearing makeup, my pet hate would be seeing young girls with really dark foundation on. And it's like five like shades darker than their skin. And they'd have the big orange ring around their neck. Always hated that. And you would see them around my town, even now, it's, I still see it. And you're like, why? You know, your foundation is meant to blend, match your skin tone. But then now it's the mat, you put your fake tan to here and well I, do, I don't do fake tan, I hate the stuff with a passion. So I like to keep my foundation minimal, I don't like wearing heavy makeup at all. Um, I'm only going to be in work for about five hours tonight so there's no point, like even this is my everyday makeup. I like to keep it quite natural. So concealer, it's the natural collection one from Bits and again I just put it under my eyes because I am so tired at the minute and very run down and then over I've got it over the sort of spots and then I'm just gonna blend this in. You can either use your hands or your sponge so I sort of just started off with my hand and I'm gonna blend it in with the sponge and that concealer is about two pound although a lot of people have recommended the revolution one from Superdrug. pardon me it's meant to be really good and it's quite cheap as well 
I think I used it whenever I was in London back in March with Zoe and it was quite good, so. I used to struggle a lot with covering up the spots I had because they were so big and so red it was very hard for me to cover them up. Um, and I still don't get full on like cover like full on coverage. I still you can still tell I have spots but like I said I don't like heavy makeup so the only ever time that's ever been fully covered is when I had air, professional airbrush foundation put on for a wedding so and obviously I'm not spending that amount of money every time. But yeah, so that is my foundation, my concealer done. Hopefully I haven't made myself look orange because I hate that look. So moving on now to pressed powder. This is sort of just going to, I, like I say, my skin's quite oily at the minute. So I've got the Collection Sheer Loose Powder. I think it's about £3. It's not that expensive. Collection makeup's quite good value. And then I've got one of these little wage thingies. Um, you get a pack of those from Poundland. And then I just sort of put it on and this sort of stops my skin from get, looking oily. My chin and my nose would be the most oiliest and my T-zone would be quite oily. So I'm going to just... Which is weird because I'm not eating a lot of more greasier foods at the minute. I'm eating a lot more healthier foods and my skin's quite greasy. So yeah, just to add it on. And then this sort of... Minimise the sort of the, the oil and like the shininess as well. I used to use the natural collection powder, but but it must have discontinued it, and I cannot find it, so I use the collection one now. So that's that done. And last part of my makeup is my bronzer and I use the Natural Collection bronzer powder and it's in Golden Glow. I don't go crazy with this because, yeah, a little bit on, blow the excess off and just dust the cheeks. I do have one of these. Um, in a blusher as well, um, I want a little to add a bit a few pink tones in it, which is this one. My brush is from Primark, I think. But like I said, I don't spend a lot of money in like makeup brushes because I don't really use them. And then if I was going to be in work a long day, or I was going out for the day or something, like I'll probably use this in London quite a lot next week. Is the collection Primed and Ready Invisible Setting Powder, and it's got witch hazel in it. And then I just put this on and that'll hopefully set my makeup in place. So yeah that's me, that's my makeup done and dusted for work. Now I'll have to do is go wash my hands because they're going to be covered in makeup. But yeah that's my makeup routine. I'm not wearing eye makeup at the minute because I have a sore eye. Um, I do have, I'll probably do wear a little bit next week when I'm in London but I'm trying to avoid it so I don't irritate my eye um, that much. But yeah that's my makeup. It's very simple, it's very natural looking. It, covers up what I need and it gives me that little bit of a confidence boost. So yeah, any questions comment below or any tips or hints you want to let me know anything you'd recommend for covering up spots or acne scarring would be very helpful. So yeah, that's everything guys. See you later.